one of the strange things about Israel is that we've got a large number of Palestinian citizens of Israel who are operating in medical fields. A fifth of all doctors in Israel are Palestinian citizens. They're a third of the nursing population. Uh, half the pharmacists in Israel are uh, Palestinian citizens. So they're really on the front line dealing with this health crisis. And yet at the same time, uh, they're being entirely marginalized in, in terms of testing, in terms of uh, protective equipment, in terms of access to hospitals, uh, only because of very t uh, a pressure that's coming from the joint list, which is the, 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 the political party uh, that represents <coughs> Palestinians in the Knesset, in the Israeli parliament. Uh, they've been putting a lot of pressure on the government to provide testing. We now have so, a couple of uh, testing stations, one in the north, and one down in the south for the Bedouin. Uh, but uh, those are very recently established. Before that, there were hardly any tests being done. So there's really no clear picture of what the situation for Palestinians is like. At the moment, 3% uh, of uh, COVID-19 cases, uh, there are 3% of uh, Palestinians who are included in the figures. It's now just reached 10,000 inside Israel. So they're a very tiny proportion, but we don't know if that's actually the situation or not, because we haven't had the testing done.